everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. We'll start with the Thankful Challenge, which was put out by Kimber's Keto Life and Simple Life Reclaimed. And what am I thankful for today? I'm thankful for all the junk that I have in my house, because it causes me to be creative. And I'm going to show you, because Boon, Boon had asked me a question. She asked if I ever crocheted Christmas Christmas um, ornaments. And I told her that I have done wreaths and that I've crocheted and I also did a little drum that I crocheted and then I do paper art. And I'll give Jim that. Okay. Now the first I'll show you the wreaths. Now the wreaths are made with, I know like a lot of you who buy milk, if you buy milk, unless you have a cow you don't buy milk, but or if you buy maybe juice. I don't buy juice, but this is from like a juice container. And what it is, is when you when you unscrew the cover, there's this ring, and I pop the ring off, and I save these rings. And why do I save these rings? Because these rings become wreaths. This is one that I did with a sparkle yarn of green and white, and this one I did with red and white. And then I've, I've done some that are solid. I've done some where I put like the little bow and the stitching is white and it looks like there's little berries in it. Oops. And I've done them where they're two-toned, where you use um, one color on the outside and one color on the inside. And, um, that's, no, that's a flower. That's something mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. um, also, I told her that I would show the little drum that I did. Now, this is out of plastic art. But, you know, those milk jugs that I just took the rings off of? These rings? Well, these are the caps. I put a little cap with a little plastic art, and you just um, do the plastic art craft and make like little drums and then they hang these on the tree. Then, because I like doing this, and then when you get tired of that, then I go to paper art. <laughs> and this is really sad. But I will show you. A long time ago, we got some of these kind of um, stars. I don't know what kind of stars they are, but forgot to look up the name of what they're called, but they're a dimensional star. And so I looked them up to try to figure out how to make them. And this year, I have made them before. This is one that I've made other years, and it's this has turned out perfect. But with that's with practice. Okay, to this year I decided I'd try to make them again, and this is how it <laughs> turned out. It didn't turn out so good. So then I did another one. Is it just the mm -hmm. one? Yeah. yeah just the then two. I did another one. This side didn't turn out so good, but this side turned out okay. So I'm getting a little better. And then I did a teeny weeny one. And this side turned out real good, but this side didn't turn out so good. So with practice, See, this is the perfect one because both sides turned out. And what the hard part is these cones. Trying to make the paper uh, make the cone, and that's the hard part because, like, this cone is all funny shaped, whereas this side is better. I don't know if you can see these very good, but. And there, if you Google them, you can find how to make these, because I'm not one to show you how. And um, what else did we do today? Emily came by, and she had to get her, she had to reapply for her health insurance, so Jim helped walk her through that, because you have to go on the computer to do all of that. And she was all upset, because all of her shortcuts were not there. I got a new computer, so I only put on the shortcuts that I need, not shortcuts that she needs. And then when Paige was here, she put a lot of shortcuts in the in the toolbar 
that she needs so I've got pages and so until the thing dies pages will be there and mine mm. is still there but Emily's is not there um I didn't bring Mr. Brown outside to Yes, yeah, I did. did. I brought him out for just a little bit, and oh, then I brought okay. him in because it was it started to rain. And the he Jim took down part of the fence and made it smaller. And the chickens have not really gone out very much. They go out a little bit, and they stay real close to the enclosed run. So they're still not free to roam. Apparently, they don't feel it. So it's also been very rainy. It was and windy terribly too. windy today. Terribly windy and rainy so they are sticking close to to the close to home run. as they say yes stay close to home well that is the video for today i hope you all had a great day and i'll talk to you all again tomorrow so goodbye